full course. Okay, when we get in the full course? Very soon. All right, very soon, man. We live on the back streets with your girl, Cole, man. All right, all right. Man, I appreciate y'all for coming through, stopping by, man. Blessing my game, man. We got an arm. How is that social media thing versus when you meet people in person? Do you prefer the interaction or do you prefer the online thing? It depends. Depends on what? <laughs> it just depends on how I feel that day. I feel it. I feel it. <laughs> you know. Why did you choose Calico to be featured on such a sexy song? What made you say I'm gonna put because, that? Because like the way he's his delivery is okay. amazing. He's uh, and he's 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 like a brother to me. I've known okay. him for some years. He's a uh, he's my husband's best friend. Actually. Okay, married. And yes, I'm how long married. you been married? Um, we we're actually going to be going on two years. Man, on congratulations! Tuesday, congratulations! We've been for 10, so. Okay, does he support the dream as far as Absolutely. the music? Absolutely. See, that's what um, you need. He's my photographer too. and my graphic designer. Okay. So any and everything that you see, um, all of my photos, uh -huh. all of my artwork. Husband. Girl, y'all got a good ass team over there. Keep yeah, that up, man. Good. Like I say, happy early anniversary, man. Thank but congratulations you. to you, man. Happy <laughs> do you think, let me ask you this, do you think R&B is dead? No. I think that it's evolved. Evolved into? R&B. R&B. the type of artist I identify as. Okay, R&B. Like a subgenre sub of R&B. Okay. So it's kind of like R and B mixed with hip hop, but it's like that bass heavy mm. R and B. So, um, and of course, you know, anytime you hear an Ashton song, it's gonna be bass heavy. So Ashton I music. love that big booty bass. Okay, you okay, know? Ashton man, is that your real name or is that, that your stage? Name. Okay, what made you go with? I'm gonna just use my real name as my artist name and just go from there with it. Versus, let me come up with a name. That's just how I felt. I'm Ashton. You okay? Sweet. Okay? Okay. Hey, are you signing or would you keep it all the way strictly independent being that nowadays you can probably do a lot of shit on your own? Well, it depends on the situation. Okay. You so know what I'm saying? If, if, if I, I'm not going to turn something away if it's an equally beneficial situation. Big you know sense. what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I do like to be able to, you know, create... Because at the that. end of the day, that's what this is all about. Being able to freely create and express myself and say how I feel and what I like and what I don't like. And Big facts. Not be controlled by... Labels and shit yeah. like that. So I that's feel one it. thing I do like about being I feel independent. It. You know what I'm saying? You able to really go at your own beat versus, like you say, being pulled here and there. Do you think it's hard as a female in the industry? Oh, absolutely. Okay, what's by far the hardest challenge you'd have had, if any? The hardest challenge for me, um, I think, for me, it would be the male ego. Okay, talk about it. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So, um, I, and I, you know, it. Even though I've seen it here in the music industry, it, it also translates to regular life. You know, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people look at us women as frail creatures and yes we're different we're sensitive but we're not frail right we're very strong right and um i actually let and, and it's funny because i didn't think about this until recently uh -huh. um just a conversation i was having but you know i let these male influences and the fact that this is a male dominated industry beat me as an artist Mm. So um, I took a seven-year break. Wow! Um, when I why, had kids, why was the break? Well, around the time I had my kids, okay, and gotcha. But you know, at the end of the day, I, I wasn't planning on coming back to music. Why? Because, you back? Why? Because I love it. Okay. Because that's what okay. I love to do. Okay. But um, you know, the initial thing that was said to me was like, "Well, hell, you finna have a baby. You finna be a mom. Ain't nobody gonna want to deal with you." Wow. You know? And damn. it's like, well, damn. But. You know, it's like the one thing that I always hear from these men when they're talking about women is all the baggage that we come with. You know, the mm. women come with boyfriends and they come with babies. And, they, and I'm like, yeah, but I mean, hell, it's no different from any other job if you want it, to be exactly. critical about it. And I mean, there's so many women out there now that mm -hmm. are like breaking down so many barriers. I mean, Fix. 
How do you feel about the woman like as far as hip hop that's just doing killing the game? I love it. Okay. I love do you it. Do you think they're being over uh, sexualized and being too explicit, or is it just perfect? They're time? being whatever the hell they want to be. Okay. And I respect that. Okay. And I love it because okay. I don't want nobody to send to me and tell me how to be. Big so, facts. Big be facts. Yourself, baby. Did you catch uh, Wendy what Jermaine Dupri had said about the uh, different rappers? It sounded like strip rap. Everybody talking about the same shit. Well, I mean, if you think about it, every music genre or generation of music does that shit. So. Mm. The males do it too. Everybody does it. Right. So, I feel ain't that. nothing new under the sun. You know, Big it's just a whole different generation, and that's just what we're doing. But truth be told, that's what was happening. Generations before in the right. music industry. Let's yeah, be real. Kim, Foxy, Brown, like, like, let's yeah. call a spade a spade. You know? Hey, I feel <laughs> shit. You keep it at one hundred on the back streets. I, I mean, you just being honest, man. What made you on the uh, project do part uh, two? Uh, you and you. So part two is basically like the remix. Okay, okay. So, but instead of calling it a remix, let's just call it a part two. Okay, okay. Just something different. Was it a personal song? Kind of. Okay. <laughs> you okay. on you, I, I wasn't like necessarily going through anything okay. at the time when I wrote it. But again, I was listening to the track and I was it, it was just jamming and okay. that's just what came out. Okay. And and I just started flowing with it. And, okay. I um, feel that. I, you know, feel I just that. started thinking about the situations I've been through in life and the things that, you know, the conversations I've had with people in passing and even just the things that I see on social media. Right. Right. And the, Y'all got you and you. You and you, man. Yeah. What made you add the uh, homie Brian Angel on Man, now? Brian Angel. That's my boy. We okay. go way back. Shout out back. him, man. Shout out Brian Legend. Angel. We go way back. I know him. Um, like, he was in, in another uh, guy group, like, a long, long time ago. We met, like, on a video shoot. Mm. My dad had set up, because uh, my dad, he was my manager when I was, uh, like, 19 years old. Okay. Yeah, like, 19 years okay. old. Okay. How was and, that experience, um, real quick? Yeah. How, was it a good experience having him as your manager, your dad? Yes and no. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to know. But okay. Yes and no. Okay. Um, but I think that the parent-child relationship is so interesting. Mm. And it's such an interesting dynamic when you bring the business aspect into it. Big facts. And being so young. Big facts. Um, because I started really professionally recording music when I was about 13 or 14 years old. Professionally. Correct. So you wanna do wanted to do this your whole life. Okay, okay. Yeah. Damn. So with that being said, you know, my dad uh, you, uh, my parents kept me sheltered from a lot of how the industry was. Because I was young. Which right. Is which is understandable, I get but that. Be, I think because of because of that factor, I, I didn't understand a lot of things. So it kind of What do you what, what you mean us, they, they like, kept you sheltered as far as was this shit that they should have kept you from, sheltered from? Did you find out later on? I mean, at that age, yeah, probably. Okay, okay, probably. okay. You know, back okay. then, I probably didn't think so. Okay. I was, you know, I'm, I'm grown. I'm, right. Look, I got this, you know. Okay. But, I mean, truth be told, you know, uh, and, and I can say that now because I'm a parent, but mm. I mean, that's just what we do as parents. Right. We do whatever we can. We think it's best. Shelter our kids from whatever this crazy ass stuff is going out, out out in the world there's so many things and you know you want your kid to enjoy their life without having to deal with the realities of the stuff that we have to deal with every day I right mean, they can deal with that later on in the, i mean they got the rest of their life to do with right that. So but being right but being that you you know you want that's something you wanted to do you do you think sometimes parents put their own fears on their children absolutely okay absolutely and okay. That's, in, that's in anything right that's in anything okay you being a parent why is that Huh? You being a parent, why is that parents do that? Put their fears, scare their child. We don't want our kids to go through what we had to go through. Mm, who's know? to say they will? I mean, they might not. <laughs> okay. They might not, but right. you know, at the same time, 